All right, everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. Are you ready to get to the bottom of this thing? Because I am just about ready to get to the bottom of this. Let's, um, yeah, Magnum. All right, here we go. So this is the testing chamber that's supposed to test us on what I don't know. Great, so I can recharge my focus here, but I can't. I guess this is what we're doing. I saw myself get fully healed. Richmond, do you copy? Change of plans. Army gear's on to you. You need to get out of there right now. Go to the industrial zone on the rooftop. It's the closest spot where we can land a chopper. Hurry. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Why do I have Richmond's picture, but I'm Dex? Don't have any weapons. I do. I have a submachine gun and a shotgun. Okay, hold on. And I have three med kits. So much ammo. Alright. That was convenient. I like that I can't walk and reload, but I can walk and aim. Um, I'm gonna save my health kits. See, it's weird, my body is dex, but like, it, the trial is treating me like I'm Richmond. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. Okay. You know what? Hold on. I got this. Don't combat roll into him. I don't really know what's going on here. I'm supposed to get to a rooftop in the industrial zone, and that would be here, where they can land the chopper. Anybody else? Oh, hey. Yoink! Oh, crud. I really like how those guys are one, one clip of ammunition, and then they're done. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know what, the, what is this? What am I doing? All right. Um. Sure. Let's keep going. This is like. I'm here. Where are you guys? Didn't you forget something, Richmond? Huh? Who's this? <laughs> What? What is going on? So that was that like a tr test to make me feel bad, or like what? What in Jumpin' Jehoshaphat's name was that? Because that was like, was that really what was happening to Richmond and Miranda? Because it was like, those areas don't directly connect to each other like that. So I'm not sure. Um, I guess there's the only way to know for sure is to continue. Let's float away again. Wake up. I can help you make it out of here. Where am I? Where's Dex? You do us to the walls, you piece of shit. I trusted you. You wouldn't be here if you had just followed my instructions. Now, you must trust me still, as I am the only one who can get you out of here. Do you want my help, or would you like to rot in your cell? Get me out. Alright. 
Got an EMP gun. I think I know how to use that. I'm going to need you to do something for me. Make your way out into the elevator. Do something for you? Fuck you. Tell me where Dex is. In one of those cells? There's nothing you can do for her right now. Just go to the elevator and I'll explain. If you stay here, you are, as they say, a dead man. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. There's no reason. Let's just go. Except that this isn't a way to go. Just go. I forgot. Yeah. Like, I went entirely the wrong way. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ha <laughs> ha. Suck a butt, guys. I'm out of here. Man, not being able to remote hack suck. Alright, is there... Do I have any... No, I have no health stuff. I'm gonna reload this. Alright, um... Okay. What the fuck is this? What are these? Clones? Indeed they are. The latest exploits of the complex. Now, if you want to put an end to this, there's a data drive in one of the rooms where I'm taking you. Pick it up, and you'll be able to hack into the mainframe and destroy all of this. So you set us up. Brought us here to do your dirty work. This is super, like, weird and disconcerting. Because, like, I'm definitely... I am definitely Decker, but I'm not, like... <sighs> Hold on. Is there anything in here that I can loot? Good. Now get back to the elevator. I'll take you where you need to be. Okay. I am running dangerously low on health. Was it like you were supposed to play as Decker or you were supposed to play as Richmond, but like they just didn't have combat animations? I don't know. This is weird. This is super weird. Alright, I'm gonna have to save up here because I like I have a feeling I'm gonna die. I'm just giving up a knowing already that that's what's gonna happen. Um Let's see. The main frame's on the right. You're almost there. Alright. Oh, crap. I'm lucky I saved. Come on. Come on, let me out, 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 let me out. Yeah, 130 damage hit and I am toasted. So I have to be fast. The main frame's on the right. You're almost there. Here we go. There. Choke him out. Go, go, go. Real slow. Fine, whatever. Be that way. Do a flip. Uh-oh. 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 Just, just forget it. Just go. Just go in the mainframe room. They can't follow me here. Panel somewhere in this room. Upload the contents to the drive there. That'll open the direct port to the mainframe. Okay. Now, wait a minute. When I came here, the mainframe was just open, and Raycast was able to open it for me. So, like, did... Did this happen while that was happening? Good. Now get back up here. Okay. Fuck! There's too many, Raycast! I can't! Just make sure Dex is safe! What the shit? Now, now what? Push button. Okay. So I'm thinking, man, I bet you that's, I bet you these aren't visions of what could have happened. I bet you these are what happened. And that um, Richmond and Miranda didn't make it to that extraction point. They got iced. And that Decker, like, survived getting shot up, but then died there preparing it for me to hack. Because I didn't experience any problems there. 
Oh shit, it's the crow. Um. Oh, sir, my child. Let me see your eyes. Ah. I am not your child. You are right. You are perfected. You are my mistakes turned triumphs. My weaknesses turned strengths. You are more than I. That's interesting, but what was that back there? What did you just put me through? I had to know. Others before you led me to hope. Others showed great promise. They too heard our call. They too reached for the singular. Others failed. But you, my child, you are here. Was it real? Was that what happened? Real? Artificial? God. A dream? Did they happen in life or live only in your imagination? Was it your own mind at work? Or a program beyond? All that is important is what those moments meant to you. And that I saw. I see. Answer my question. Did they happen or not? And that need is why you are here. Oh, my child. My wonderful, perfected child. But precisely because you do not let go is the very reason you must. And now, there is much more you are needed for. I ask you, will you embrace what lies ahead? What is it that you want from me? I want you to say yes. Yes to what? Yes. You know of Kether. How far it exceeds human intellect. How complete is its consciousness. And yet, it is lacking still. It lacks the fundamental, the engine of the glorious illusion that we call free will. What guided your choices to reach here, my child? From which source did your actions spring? Kether needs that. Kether needs you. This game is disappearing up its own butt. Like, what is going on? You created Kether. Why don't you do this yourself? Whatever this is. <laughs> Believe me, child. That was always my intention. My hope. But alas, I quickly learned that no matter how much I improved, altered myself, I could never become one with Kether. No human mind can. My despair, my pain, when I saw I could never live out my dream, was short-lived. I realized that I must instead seek the closest being to me who is not I. A refined I, purified of my past. The rightful one to be one with Kether. So I am a clone of you. That was the moment I let go. As I ask you to do now, I embraced my weaknesses, my mistakes, the things I could not change. I embraced them in my pursuit of an heir. Then, in order to know that I had found the one, I put my successor to the test, to trial, a trial that you passed, my child. By experiencing the good, the bad, and the the worst. You were cleansed 
For that I chose you, since you shall be just. And what if I said yes? What then? Then, then you would, you will become the perfect being. Who said I agreed to do this? You speak as if you have a decision to make. Oh, my child. There are no real decisions. No real choices. What are you talking about? I make choices every moment of my life. My child. Every choice you think you made was always going to be made. What is the best course of action? What do I really want? Emotions. The very foundation of logic. And what is an emotion more than you in your essence? You as you are. And you will soon see the people the world over do as they are. As they always were. God, and since geez. the beginning of time. There are so many over so much time. It is complex, yes, but it is fixed. You will understand when you make this your final choice. Why does it matter so much to you who does this? Everything you experienced during your trial, I too experience. As I watch mankind, I will live on through you. So basically, all of the like haze of BS that you're putting up is basically like you want to live forever and you want a perfected version of yourself to do so. There is one more step you need to make confront the original GSV program. It is that which is gripping, smothering. Kether. Eradicate the virus. Free Kether. Only then may you become one with it. For this you must access the deepest reaches of cyberspace. There you will find the core I don't think I have a choice. Both Kether and the GSV. Now go forth. Ah. Great. So she issues her final breath, and so it ends. Now, Dex, now is the time. At last you can put an end to this. You can unravel the complex from their very center, bring them to their knees, rip the veil from the truth. I think we just need to slow down and take stock for a minute here. Slow down. After all we have been through to get here. Now is the time for action, Dex. The complex have never been more vulnerable. Now you have access to GSV, to Kether. You must get into cyberspace and destroy both of them. That sounds pretty good, bud. end to all of this. Dex. Surely you have not forgotten who she was. What she did to us. To the world. This is a lot to process, okay? I'm just considering my options here. In fact, though, I think that's a great idea. Humanity is not ready for this leap. Yep. Not technologically, not socially, not psychologically. Many more will surely suffer if you choose the path she has set out for you. There are far too many unknowns. Natural evolution is slow for good reason. You can still lead a normal life, Dex. You do not have to do this. Humankind does not need you to. He it made? needs you not to. He made your point, okay. Now let me think I about it. I will have no power to help you once you step into cyberspace. Kether's domains are impenetrable. I cannot accompany you. I can only hope you see reason, Dex. Trust me. Okay, so when I played Deus Ex, I definitely chose I wanted to... The, the robot made some good points, right? But here... This woman did all of these horrible, horrible things to make this come true. I don't think I want to give her what she wants. I think I want to put this whole darn thing in the ground. Um, 
Like, that's what, that's what seems right to me anyway. Get out of here. To be fair, this spread shot is pretty lit though. If I was a professional YouTuber, I would have done this quite a while ago. And then we could have gotten through all of these hackings and stuff that much faster. Ooh, this is rough. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Get out. Just keep destroying all these power nodes and hope for the best. Well, so yeah, I'm... I'm honestly thinking that that's my choice. I think I'm going to go with Raycast's plan. Like, he may have not been perfect, not even by a long shot, but he did definitely at least, like, have his heart in the right place. And I think the idea is to destroy both of them. I think, like, if we could just destroy GSV, that's fine. Like, Decker and Tony, oops, excuse me, really liked... The GSV virus, right? They were, or not the GSV virus. The um, they really liked Kether, and they said that it just went around, like, opening up things and dumping stuff out. And I think that's really cool. But I think if I have to choose between, you know, free society and an overlord, I would prefer to let people make their own decisions rather than be controlled. Especially since we don't know how many people are genetically overwritten clones that got added to the society, right? Because those people could still be controlled by Kether, even if that wasn't something we cared about. Stop this. There we go. Whoops. Uh, brain damage, kick me out. More focus. Put me back in, Doc. Um, and don't let it be said that right outside... <laughs> right outside... Hold on, where's Spammer? Yeah. Um, right outside the final thing, I sat and ate some cold Chinese noodles and then went back in. Okay, so Spammer does not work on this thing. Let's just go around in circles. This is really stupid. Bring around the rosy. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Okay, so it it doesn't have a short range like the other ones. I sorry about that, everybody. Um, let's try this again, shall we? This time for sure. I want wedge, because wedge is my highest damage thing. God, you're awful. Stop this. Ring around the rosy pocket full of artificial intelligence. Ben, what did you do today? Well, I went in a big circle around this thing. And then, I don't know, I went around in big circles around this thing. Why aren't they fighting back? I mean, not that I'm complaining, but...
Is the virus just, like, letting me get closer now? Because, like, look at this. They're not... Is this, it doesn't, is this a glitch? Is this a statement? What is going on? I don't understand. Defeat the complex. Reach singularity. Alright, guys. This is it. I don't want to reach singularity. I want to defeat the complex. Yeah, Hammond, go to jail, you Retrieve dick. records show the laboratory, headed by Dr. Carl Hammond, has created several hundred artificial beings, ABs, many of which were militarized. Nine executives linked with the international association known as the Complex have been arrested. They now face federal charges of illegal human experimentation and terroristic intent. Reports suggest that dozens of the ABs have been released into society. Their whereabouts and identity are unknown. It's AJ. Yeah, I'm definitely okay with that ending. Definitely. That was really an interesting game. Um, I'm actually gonna turn down the volume here. Um, wow, okay, so like, the choices did sort of fall the way I wanted them to. In that, the clones that I killed were just the ones that hadn't been released from the facility yet. Which is still terrible, and yes, I still feel bad about it. However, it meant all the ones that were already out there living their lives were fine. It just meant that the rest of the clones didn't really get to... You know, I don't know, didn't get to have a mega happy ending. But, honestly, I think that that was right. Blowing, blowing it wide open and letting everybody know what the complex was up to, that's what I really wanted to do. Um, I think that that was important. And like, yeah, we could have reached Singularity, but at what cost? All of the people that were already out there would have been controllable, and that's not power I wanted. And like, the complex hurt so many people and did so many wrong things, for what? She, the crow didn't make a good argument to me, not even close. She was like, this is what you were supposed to do. You are the perfect one. You're the one to merge with the AI. Like, I understand, but that seemed to me like a selfish dream ultimately rather than like it wasn't for the good of humanity it wasn't like the end of deus ex right where um where jc and the machine make a better future they arrest all the criminals they put things right and in this case like that wasn't what was going to happen so i don't know it's a really interesting game um, it was good. I really enjoyed it. I just don't know... I don't know how to feel. It's... It's definitely something. I don't know. Alright, guys. This was, a, this was a fun game, and I'm really glad I took the time to play it. I'm... I'm kind of sad that... You know, like, I didn't really get to to have a happy ending, you know? Like, my, you know, I'm pretty sure that Decker is dead, and I'm pretty sure that Miranda and Richmond are dead. And that was on the hands of the, 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 the complex, too, so fuck them. They don't get what they want. I, uh, I am nothing. I am nothing, if not incredibly conniving, eye for an eye. So I think I played that one pretty well. Um, gosh, this was a strange game. In any case, um, I'm really glad that they got to make it. Um, you know, it was a game that was in early access for a very long time, multiple years. Um, like I said, I, I, in the first episode, I originally covered this game for Ouya when it was in early access. And you actually had to pay 
five or six bucks to get the early access demo. It was like supporting it on Kickstarter, sort of. But when you bought it on Ouya, then as it came out, um, you got the rest of the game. I actually don't know if the Ouya version ever released. Because I think it may have gotten lost in the shuffle. Because um, eventually Ouya was bought out by Razer, and Razer runs it as Razer Forge or Razer something. They, so the store is still up, and you can still download all the Ouya specific games, because Razer had their own Android console that's very similar. And so they're kind of the same, and it still works. But I actually don't know... I don't know if the game ever got released there. I know it was one of the target platforms, but... Otherwise, this was just an interesting game, and honestly, um, to go back slightly and to hear my head rattle to talk here for a minute, this game definitely feels like a game that was written by a non-English, um, like a non-American development team. Like, it kind of rubs itself that way, sort of like Metro does. I mean, Metro wears its culture on its sleeve, but like, the writing and the deterministic way in which things are handled sort of reminds me of, um literature that's that's non-american i don't actually know where the dev key team where i don't know where dreadlocks is from so that would be something worth looking up um gosh this was fun um that's all for today i think that's everything we need for me um i guess i will be seeing you next game um let me know in the comments below if you get to this let's play and you have feelings about this game you think i should go back and play the alternate endings or do whatever i would be glad to do that but um show some interest and I'm down. Otherwise, this has been Dex. You have been wonderful. This is Cyberpunk TV. I will see you next game.